In this video, traders, if you're struggling to implement and stick to your stop loss, these hacks may help. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. If you're subscribed to the channel, I appreciate your support. If you're not yet, what are you waiting for? If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. More of this stuff coming up and plenty more in the library of videos that we've done. Right, serious one this. This is the thing that makes or breaks careers. I've seen many traders fall by the wayside because they haven't been able to stick to the stops. And it's painful to see the frustration on their faces. It's painful to see that such a simple thing or seemingly simple thing can just devastate a career, can just ruin the ideas and dreams of becoming a good Forex trader, a good currency trader, uh, or whatever trader you wanna be, day trader, swing trader, investor. And it happens so often, but it's human nature, guys. First of all, don't beat yourself too much up about it. Don't beat yourself up too much about it, should I say. It happens to many of us. It's a common thing that a lot of us go through as traders, but it's relatively easy to fix if you dedicate time to it. If you think you can pop a pill or whatever and fix it, it ain't gonna happen. But you can fix it if you put in some processes and you're prepared to give it 30 days, 60 days, potentially 90 days. You give it that, you'll get rid of it once and for all, then you can finally move forward with your trading. Let's have a look at some hacks, guys. Right, number one, implement a three strike rule. This is where you say, okay, I have a trading plan and I have a stop loss. First of all, actually, before I should have had number one here, shouldn't I? First of all, is have a trading plan. You can't beat yourself up for not coming out of a trade that you never planned to come out of. What I mean is, if you're going in and shooting from the hip and just firing at a whim and going into trades because you feel like it, you can't beat yourself up because you're not coming out, because you haven't got a strategy. First of all, have a strategy. I don't care what that is. That could be if the price moves up 50 pips, go long with a 15 pip stop. I don't care what it is. The point is you have to have a strategy. Simple, advanced, doesn't matter. So that you know the exact level that you have to do the deed of pulling the stop in, not executing it. You know where you gotta come out. There's no ambiguity there. Remove ambiguity, because otherwise you'll convince yourself why you did this, why you did that. It needs to be solid. So first, that's number one, really, I should have put on there, but have that in place. Okay, number one now, implement the three strike rule. So if you are overruling your stop, i.e. you're not putting it in, you're moving it, you're canceling it, or you're going right back in as soon as you get stopped. Those, are, those to me are three violations of your stop loss rule. You need to implement a three strike rule, or even if you wanna be harsh on yourself, I would recommend going harsher, but start off slow, right? It's like you will do anything major, you can't just dive in straight away and go, yeah, I wanna lose four stone immediately and stop smoking and never drink anymore and get wealthy immediately. Yeah, yeah okay, it's not gonna happen. It's similar with this, right? You have gotta take it in steps. So give yourself a three strike rule. Say to yourself, if over a period of a month, a week, however bad your problem is, whatever time frame you trade on, I don't stick to my stops three times in a row, there is a punishment in place. And it has to be a severe punishment. Now, I don't mean something like uh, chopping your foot off, right? <laughs> I mean something that will hurt you in terms of trading. And for most of us, that's gonna be, you can't trade now for a month. You are off the markets for a month, okay? Now, I get that if you can't stick to stops, you're probably not gonna stick to three strike rules. So we need to have this in place as well. If you are serious about doing it, you are gonna to have to share your statements and trades with someone else. Get some accountability, husband, wife, brother, sister, girlfriend, boyfriend, trading mentor, whatever. You are gonna to have to be open enough and say, hey, I really wanna crack this nut. I really am struggling to pull this trigger on my stops. I need help. I've implemented this plan. I've got a three strike trading rule. I want you to hold me to account if I do break that rule. If I hit my three, three strike rule, I'm not gonna trade ever again. I'm gonna prove it to you because I'm gonna pull all my funds out and I'm gonna show you you can get access to my account or whatever, however far you wanna go. Maybe not access to account if you don't trust them, but hopefully you do trust them to prove that you're not gonna do it. So that, you, that, that, that genuinely is a consequence. The trouble is we're our own managers, our own risk managers, all this kind of stuff. We can say, yeah, yeah. We can overrule ourselves with positive and minus stuff. We can beat ourselves up for being too bad and we can let ourselves off the hook when we've done stuff we shouldn't have done. You know that if you're implementing capital with an employee who was trading for you and they went over their three strike rule, you'd probably have them out the door. You wouldn't even let them go over once, let alone three. So having the three strike rule, but of course, 
having someone to implement it, have that accountability, share your statements or trades. Okay, something else now slightly different to help you get over this. This is like the punishment section, if you like, which needs to be in place. There needs to be some consequences to betraying that trust that you've given yourself for being a custodian of your capital, of your hard-earned capital. Right, now we've got some other ways of looking at things. Third one, identify your worst fear and link that mentally to not stopping out. What do I mean? So your worst fear is probably gonna be, I don't make any money trading. I lose all my money trading and I never become a trader I wanna be. If that's your worst fear, you need to link that somehow to the action of whatever you're doing, whether it's not putting a stopping, whether it's pulling it out, whether it's adding it back in again, adding a trade back in once you get stopped out, whatever it is, you know what it is personally for you. You need to think to yourself, every time I do that, I am getting closer to this worst fear. And by the way, in trading perspective, don't, don't go crazy with this, guys. Don't go, you know, too deep with it. But worst fear of, hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to blow up my account again. Maybe I'm not going to become a trader. I can't make some extra cash. I can't do whatever. Link that to that, and then constantly be aware that every time you do that, i.e., move the stop or whatever, you don't stick to the stop loss, you are moving one step closer. If you need to visualize it and you have like a drawing of whatever it is there, the worst fear, recognize that every time you do that, you will get there, and it's logical. You know, it's a foregone conclusion. If you continue to do that and do that, you will get to the worst fear, which for most of us most likely is gonna be not being able to trade, running out of capital, and then never being able to trade again or being a losing trader, a poor performing trader. That's what you gotta do, guys. You've gotta be brutal on yourself in some aspects. It's something like this. Not all the time, doesn't work, but you've gotta link it and try it so that you feel, uh, I don't wanna take, I don't wanna, I, I, you know, I, I must take the stop, I must take the loss, because if I don't, I know that ultimately I'm gonna go there. Right, four, practice in your mind the act of stopping out. Something I did because I struggled with this. I think I've talked about this before in other videos. I would sit there and some of you may well go, ha ha ha, this is crazy, but you know what, it works, right? Sit there with my mouse, wasn't a corded mouse, it was a cordless mouse. Sit there, lie there in bed, and just imagine clicking the button and imagine stopping myself. I actually, one of them, it wasn't quite stop. It was a couple of things, actually. It was stopping out, uh, which wasn't so much for me. But for me, it was more the case of I'd be way too aggressive my position size. I'd be dialing it right up when really uh, I, I broke my trading rules in that way. Stops out wasn't so bad. I went through a little phase of it, but got over it pretty quickly. The big one for me was when I trying to push things more than I should. And I was dialing up risk and I was breaking trading rules in that way. So we're... It happens to everybody in one way or another. So anyway, back to the point. I'd, I'd lie there, sit there, whatever it was, mouse in hand, and I would just think about uh, entering the ticket, stopping the arrow at my position size, not going more than that, double checking it, entering the trade, not adding to the trade unless it was part of the plan. I'll just rehearse it in my mind. And the reason I talk about the mouse is that you, for whatever reason, feeling that mouse there makes it more real. So you're rehearsing the good pathway you want in your brain. There's some scientific thing that says, okay, when you rehearse it, it strengthens the neural pathways. Whatever that is, the point is, if you rehearse it in your mind, it's like doing it for real, or uh, almost like doing it for real. And if you do it enough times, it's like doing it for real. So you can shorten the time frame when that becomes a habit. So it's worth practicing in your mind as whether you believe it works or not, right? You've got nothing to lose. Dedicate five minutes, 15 minutes a day to it. It's zero out of your life. You're not even gonna miss it. If it works, great, you're way ahead. If it doesn't, who cares? You've not lost anything. Try it out. Mentally rehearse that thing and see if it works for you. And it worked for me and I know other people as well. It works when you read some of the trading books and psychology books and they say that for other aspects of trading. So it's worth a shot, right? Anyway, those are four for you guys. Three strike rule. Make sure you've got some accountability. Identify the worst fear and link the whole aspect of not using stop losses to that. And finally, practice in your mind the act of actually placing the stop and not moving it or whatever the act may be for you. Do all those four things and you'll crack the nut. Let me know how you get on the comments section below, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, thumbs up is appreciated and a subscription is also appreciated if you think that this video is the kind of thing that you like and you wanna see more of. Take care, bye-bye.